Hi everyone, it's Jen Arkfeld from Stamp Silly, and today it's time for a Manic Monday card. So we're going to create a card in hopefully under 10 minutes. Um, so let's, we're going to go this way. I've got an idea in my head and I'm actually going to, oops, I'm actually going to um, see if I can't time this. So we'll just see if it goes according to plan. Um, let's see, timer. Oops, I don't want an hour. I just want 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm going to push start. Are we ready? Let's go. So start. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start off with a piece of Knight of Navy cardstock. And I've already got it cut and scored. So at least I've got that started. Um, I had it in my stash. And I'm ready for some fun, bright, vivid colors. It's dull and boring here in Iowa right now. Um, so I want some bright springy color. So I, I grabbed my Gingham Garden Designer Series paper and we're going to go with this. So I'm going to start with this down at the bottom of the card. So I'm going to cut this piece, um, let's see, three and a quarter. Let's go that. Oops. Three and a quarter by four. That way that... Um, We're going to attach it down here at the bottom, okay? I'm going to grab my snail. And you know what? I'm not always a huge fan of snails, so you'll notice I use a lot of snail um, because I don't want my cards to fall apart. Normally I use Tombow glue, but it's sitting right here, so what the heck, right? Okay, so we've got that down. And then I'm going to use some of the Gingham Garden washi tape. And I need a scissors here. Normally I like the torn look of this, but I think I'm going to just cut it into a straight straight line and we're going to put this across here. Oops. This might be the hardest part of the card. Lining that edge up. I probably should have assembled and then stuck down maybe. Oh, we'll get there, right? Okay. That doesn't always show up real good on pattern paper, but we're just going to go with it and see what happens here. If I had gingham ribbon, I think I'd use that. I really love that gingham look. Good and country fresh. Um, okay, so then I've got this piece. And so I need to cut that. Let's see. If I did it earlier at three and a quarter, so now I need to cut it at two. Is this four? This is four inches wide. Okay, so now I need a two inch piece. You know what? I'm going to be picky here because my card base is that darker blue. This is Island Indigo, the background of this paper, but these little flowers are um, that Knight of Navy, so I want plenty of those little flowers to show so that it so that it brings in that background color. Alright, so we can stick this down. It look like it fit good. Okay. We only got 10 minutes. I shouldn't be worrying about that extra glue on my scrap paper, should I? All right, so now I have that down. Yeah, that looks pretty springy, even though we've got a dark colored um, background. I think that those bright flowers help. And I'm going to use the um, Kind and Cozy stamp set. And let's see here. We're going to stamp this. We'll see. I'm going to use that Knight of Navy just so that I can bring in some of that dark background color. And this is the old style ink pad just because that's what I have in this color. So it seems like it takes a little, it's harder to ink up maybe. Stamp that down. Looks good. Looks good. And then I'm going to use the Thinking of You sentiment. And here's how I like to ink that up. I actually, you guys know me well enough, right? I'm a little bit of a pick, picky stamper. So I'm going to ink the whole thing up with pear pizzazz. And then I'm going to take a blender pen and I'm gonna get rid of these flower colors 
And if I just um, scribble it off, I'm actually going to take all this color off of the word you also. And it's going to take several um, several swipes across here just to get all that color off. In fact, I'll probably switch my ends just to be sure. I don't want a muddy color. I'm going to go over that with Melon Mambo. So I don't want that color to be muddy. That would look gross, right? Um, and these flowers I hope to do in, I think, Daffodil Delight. So once I get these really good and clean, here's this flower. Try not to get those leaves. And you want to just keep cleaning your um, the tip of your pen off so that um, you're starting with a clean a clean pen there. Okay. I think. Oh, see, look at how much I'm still getting off of there. Quite a bit, but not. It's not doing too bad. All right. I think I've got it. This is probably the most time-consuming um, part of this card. And hopefully, how are we doing on time? Um, who knows? Oh, I still have four minutes. I better hustle, hustle, huh? Okay. So I'm gonna ink, I'm gonna ink this U part up with my um, with my marker. And you could have colored the whole thing with your markers, and it might have actually gone a little bit faster, but. I tend to think when you are working with the solid image, like of the in the thinking and the of, um, if you use your ink pad to color that, I gotta get this. Oh, it looks like it lost some ink. Um, you'll get a better color, I think. <gasps> okay, so I'm going to oh shoot, stamp that a little bit or huff on it a little bit to re ink it and voila okay we got that it looks pretty good um, I just don't always like the way that markers look when you um, when you use them to color your stamps I think they get they get in the fine lines and I think that's what I don't like but I'm picky remember picky picky okay so I'm punching that out with a um, two and a half inch circle punch and that you know that looks pretty good but I think let's see how would this would that brighten that up just a little bit more let's try it um, how about with one of our new starburst framelits I think this will this middle one work in the middle oh yes okay let's try it and see what it looks like I still have time we just will use all that 10 minutes right Okay, so here's my big shot. I'll throw my paper down, my die. And let's get cranking. Okay. Get that out of the way. And we'll see what this looks like. Oh, I think I like that. Okay. So let's grab some. Let's grab some pop dots or some Stampin' Dimensionals, whatever you want to call them. I just, I typically call them pop dots because it's a whole lot easier to say than that whole Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay. So let's put that on there, like so, and then. Lots of snail. Why not, right? All right. Hey, look at there. Do I have time left? Let's check this out, people. Ooh, it says I have a minute and four seconds left. Pretty good, right? All right, so there's that card. Pretty easy. You know what? You easily could also, um, well, I punched a hole in this one. This one would have worked. Um, you could put a piece of paper on the inside so that it's, um, so you can write something on the inside and that would sure help. And you know what? Use some of these other cute little stamps to, 
even just stamp them in the corner um, to liven up the inside of your card. And quickly, here's another one that I did with the same, um, basically it's the same sketch where I used the Retrofresh Designer Series paper and the um, Retrofresh washi tape. And I just made the You're the Best. I did feel that it needed um, backed, it kind of um, blended too much into the page, so that's why I used the window frames die for the um, piece right here. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you next Monday. Goodbye!